Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize the appearance of the start screen in many ways. You can control the placement and grouping of the app tiles, as well as name the tile groupings that you create. You can also control the appearance of many of the individual app tiles themselves within the start screen. In this lesson, we will examine how you make these types of customizations within the Start screen. When you install apps from the Windows Store app or other software that you possess, you will see a new tile for the app appear at the right end of the Start screen. You can also add tiles to the Start screen for software you have already installed if you are upgrading to Windows 8.1 or for any software that is installed for which you simply want to create a tile within the start screen. One way to do this is to find the executable or application icon for which you want to add a start screen tile within the file explorer or the desktop. Then right click the icon. From the pop-up menu that appears choose the pin to start command to add a tile for that program to the start screen in the next available tile position within the most recent tile group. Another way to do this is to find the existing app tile through the start screen. You can display tiles for all the apps on your computer by clicking the small downward pointing arrow in a circle shown in the lower left corner of the start screen. You will then see a listing of all of the available app tiles within your computer. Find the tile for the app that you want to pin to the start screen within this list. Right click the desired app tile to display an options bar at the bottom of the screen. Click the pin to start icon within the options bar to pin the selected app tile to the start screen. Note that if you right click an app tile by mistake, you can click into the empty area within the screen to hide the options bar again. When you're finished, you can click the small upward pointing arrow in a circle shown in the lower left corner of the screen to return to the start screen when finished, or use any of the other ways of displaying the start screen that we have already mentioned to return to the start screen if you prefer. You can remove an app tile from the start screen by right-clicking the app tile to remove to display the options bar at the bottom of the screen. Then click the unpin from start icon within the options bar to remove that app tile from the tile grouping within the start screen. You can arrange the app tiles within the start screen by clicking and dragging them to the desired location and then releasing them when they are in the desired position within their tile group. Tiles are aligned within their tile groups from left to right and then from top to bottom. However, the number of tiles that you can place next to each other from left to right and top to bottom within a group will vary based on the size of the tiles themselves. You can create new tile groupings by clicking and dragging an app tile to the far right side of the start screen past the vertical bar that appears once you have dragged it to the right as far as possible and then releasing the app tile to create a new tile grouping. You can also name the app tile groupings you create so that you can easily tell what apps are located within a group. For example, you could create a Microsoft Office tile grouping for your Microsoft Office application tiles within the Start screen. After you have created a tile group, you can name the group by right-clicking within the empty area within the Start screen to display the options bar at the bottom of the screen. Click the Customize button within the Options bar to display a Name Group box at the top of every tile group. Click into the Name Group box above the tile group that you want to name, and then type the name of the tile group into the box.
press the Enter key on your keyboard when you're finished naming the group. To delete a group name, simply click the small x that appears at the right end of the group name that you want to clear. After naming the groups, you can click into the empty area within the Start screen to hide the Options bar. You can also move entire tile groups around to reorganize their position within the Start screen. To do this, click the small minus button that appears at the far right end of the scroll bar at the bottom of the Start screen. You will then see the tile groups shown on screen in smaller groups. You can click and drag the small tile groups that are shown to reorder the tile groups within your Start screen. Now when you're finished, simply click into the empty area within the Start screen to return to the normal Start screen view. You can also customize the settings of the individual app tiles within the Start screen. To do this, right click on the app tile to display the options bar at the bottom of the screen. You can then click any button shown within this bar to change the desired setting. The settings will vary depending upon the app tile that you've selected. However, common options include resize, as well as Turn Live Tile on and off. Note that if you do not want to make any changes to the selected app tile after right-clicking it, then you can simply click into the blank area of the Start screen to hide the Options bar again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.